Today's video is going to be about installation of the ADAR kit on Airsoft M4s. Here I have already painted furniture and I also do have here part of your standard M4 lower with a gearbox in it. Before we start, um, let's again talk about dimensions because uh, almost all OEMs slightly differ in their dimensions. Now, why is that important um, with this uh, with this kit? It's because we have. Um, stock and grip merged into the one normally you wouldn't care about the position of the grip and uh, buffer tube however as you can see this is quite important here this is the reason my files contain the test file which i also uh, shared for free this test file is meant to be used for testing of this fitment because this is the aim top aim top lower however with different oems dimensions between the center of the buffer tube and this edge can be slightly different can be smaller or bigger this uh, would mean uh, when you install the buffer tube part on a stock there would be gap or you wouldn't even be able to just slide it on it would collide so this test file is meant to be used for testing the fitment and if it fits you can print the rest of the stock, the rest of the files, and if it doesn't, just let me know, and we will work out on uh, specific files for your OEM for your rifle. Now, let's uh, start with the installation. You can have the front or back wired gun. I uh, have a back wired gun. There isn't much space in the stock however you can put a small lipo in this hole or just your normal lipo, lipo you would stick inside of the buffer tube uh, when it comes to the front wired gun i think you might be actually able to fit some small uh, non chucky lipo in it however uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm not very sure, so I guess uh, big uh, wire is um, kind of a, a better solution to this. Now, uh, before you install this kit, uh, you have to remove the M4 back plate that's usually sandwiched in between the buffer tube and back of the lower receiver also you need a buffer tube uh, with a removable buffer tube ring because if you can remove it you can you can't fit the stuff on the buffer tube so i have the correct buffer tube here also i removed the um i removed the back back plate and now I'm gonna proceed to installation of the buffer tube. So, okay, I have the buffer tube installed. I also should mention if you don't have the buffer tube before the buffer tube ring, there are plenty buffer tube to 3D print on a 3D cut and on fingers. You don't need to worry, it will snap because in this case uh, there are not going to be forces 
um, on this, so you don't need to worry. Now, let's install the stock. Uh, the stock installation can get a bit tricky. So, uh, let me move the wires so we don't get stuck. Now, we are, when we are in this position, we need to put the cables in. And now we will slowly put it on and checking if the cables are properly seated. So we will pull them a bit. So, okay, I installed The grip with the stock on again, also secure it as like any other grip uh, with M3 screws to the bottom of the gearbox to here. And now about the motor installation. As you can see, my mother has this rotating part a bit slimmer because it comes from the different gun and it wouldn't fit in a gearbox so just don't mind this and there are uh, can uh, canals for the cables here um it might be a tight fit for the motor but again depends on your printer toleration on the motor itself mine goes in almost the final problems so i will again skip forward and slow it make sure your motor is still spring loaded that the cables aren't disrupting anything bottom part is installed uh, we secure it uh, with a tap screw with two tap screws and in the middle there is a thread for um, motor high screw i recommend that i recommend you take this screw from and for a1 grip because it's from the metal however the files also contain one that can be 3d printed so you can do that too now let's move to the hand card this is going to be a little bit tricky because uh, Ada uses the special 16 inches long barrel and it's a handguard has specific length we will need to improvise with our barrel as you can see uh, the side block was originally positioned here and in order to fit the handguard on the gun i had to move it about five six centimeters to the front what I'm gonna do, uh, because the barrel here is thinner, I'm gonna print a two half sleeve that's um, gonna clamp around the barrel and the side uh, is gonna go over it and I will then utilize this, uh, this hole, there is a hole for the uh, mounting of the side block however my side block also have a small set screw here so if your dust the set screw too you can just move it uh, tighten the screw and it will 
uh, it was stand on the place. However, because we do not uh, utilize this pinhole, um, I wouldn't mount a sling on it. Also, as you could see, um, depends on how tight it is. It can rotate from the side to side a little bit. That's not ideal, um, but that's how it is. Also, I could take a Dremel and Dremel a slot into the barrel because here under this pinhole it's thick as this part is, and then I could use the original mounting. However, I don't want to. Dremel this barrel, so that is how I'm gonna leave it. Also, there is a 3D printed barrel in the files, but I prefer the metal one. If you want to mount the handguard, it's simple process. The handguard itself, it's a uh, tool house. Um, it's split this way, not in a half, as you might know from the M Force. And we simply install it like uh, any other plastic M4 you want a hand guard. My hand guard also have small tabs small and slots here so this helps to stay uh, helps to keep it aligned really well no this is done this is the simplest operation i would say and just put the gun together. Let's secure it with a pin. I might cut it out from the window. And the last we need to do is install the butt pad because I am used to using um, prototype parts to save time and filament my butt pad has only those two tabs to prevent the rotation however the published file have a thinner tab here but it goes all the way around you could use a uh, m5 screw here with a slotted head or as i did you can use a wood tap screw you just put it in take the screwdriver and you've made yourself a right Now let's talk about uh, some stuff about this kit for the end. This kit is for AEGs, it's not um, for gas blowback rifles. At this time if you provide the uh, dimensions then I can edit this to fit your gas blowback rifle. Uh, you might ask why this file and not uh, free download one from the fingers and this is the reason this is for the AEGs no the gas blowback also I spent some time uh, searching for photos and pictures and I'm kind of pretty confident in this geometry so this is it uh, 
as always if any question regarding this kit contact me in the comments um, also i started a support discord channel where you can ask specific questions about specific kits and see you in the other one